Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks where we have an unboxing for you today. We have actually a double exclusive for you. Yep, I'm telling you. Inside this bag is an exclusive watch directly from number one who has sent us, are you ready for this? The brand new F13. The other exclusive is the fact that you can only get it from GearBest right now. And we got a shopping link for you, lucky us, right down below in the show notes. So come on over and check it out, the GearBest number one F13 smartwatch. Ooh, in venom green. Ooh. Okay, what's it got in it? Well, in addition to green venom, I guess, <laughs> we've got Bluetooth 4.0, an IPS rating of Wow, IP68, definitely waterproof, swim-proof, the whole nine yards. All these different functions are included. It's got a TFT touch screen, one inch screen with a 350 milliamp hour battery and so forth. All right, there's our package information and we are ready to open the box. KK Tick is another thing they're calling themselves these days. DT number one. Oh, look at that. It's all sealed up. Gotta get into it. Brand spanking new. It literally just came out of production. This is an actual production unit. Oh, I think we got the red one. Ooh, all right. There it is. TPU band. Familiar with that. Two uh, point charging. We've got a, a metal back and the uh, heart rate diodes on the back. Looks like there's a little plastic cover over the back too. Can we get that thing up? Yep, there we go. Take that one off. And a button, a button, and a button, a button. Up and down, start and stop, and then the screen. So inside here, we also have a manual. And look, look, a charging part down here with, oh, well, all right, with the little two connector charging head that should just connect right in like this and it does all right so let's take a look at the manual then we'll move on the sports smartwatch user's manual oh tiny print but good good that when we put it on youtube with this nice camera it can blow it all up and make it easy for you to read and you can freeze frame this thing as we go along if you want to read it in detail yeah number one's hitting us with new watches fairly regularly and they all have some pretty interesting stuff in them they're mostly in alignment with sports fitness in fact i'm not sure when we've seen the last android uh smart from number one do you guys remember we've had lympho and finow and of course z blaze just away from z blaze warranty and then we get into other languages but I think we're overdue for a uh, an Android watch from number one. Anyway, this is not that. This is a sports fitness watch. And, well, I'll charge it up and then we'll turn it on. Okay, I've been able to play with this for a little while. And, well, my bottom line is I think number one's starting to get things right. They really are. This is a really nice watch. It's got a bright display. It's not one of those transflective kind, but... It's good and bright. You can read it outside, even in the direct sunlight, especially the high contrast digits like this. If you look at the glass, you can see it's kind of beveled all the way around, which is interesting. It's not flat. It's got a little curvature to it, um, almost like a pair of eyeglasses would. I don't know if it's got a magnifier in it, but that would be a neat thing to build into these uh, to make everything look a little bit larger when you're wearing it. But it is there, and it's a, a good piece of glass. We've got four buttons, a start and stop, and an up and a down. And when you hit start, it brings the screen up. You hit it again, and you go into these different modes. You have a sports mode. Then you have this bunch of stars and um, watch faces the text messaging area, your sport mode, heart rate mode, and you're back again to your basic uh, pedometer. And it cycles through those. It does not go back to the watch face. To get to the watch face, you have to hit the stop button, and you're back here. 
Let's look at the watch faces. To get into these, we went to here and we hit start. There is a different one. I hit it again. No, I hit the up and down button to show you. No, <laughs> no, there's my step count. Oh, and I was going to be so impressive with you guys. Let's start it again. Go up into here. Go into here. You hit up and down. That's how you change it. So here's a watch face. Um, you can see the basic information that's on it. There's the standard one I started with. There's an analog one of sorts. And that's it. Again, start. We have that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then you're out of them. So, you want that one? You want that one? You want to... Oh, nah. Let's try the analog one. We hit the start button. And there it is. And, ah, uh, nah. That's... Strange as far as I'm concerned. It's really small. But anyway, if you want just a really soft, subdued analog watch face, you've got it. I hit start now. I hit it again. I go into here. I hit it again. I go into my step count. This is your active step count. If I go up and down, I can look at my distance traveled, calories burned, and I'm back out of it again. It doesn't loop at that level. It goes through them and then pops back up to this level. Then if I went up, I go into the stars, where if I go in here and I'm tethered to my phone, I can find the phone, I can turn the watch off. By the way, let me tell you something about that. Uh, you can reset the watch. You can get about, which is like your... Um, you notice how it's washed out on the screen, and I can't turn that brightness down. It is so bright. Um, about information, which is telling you the name. Oh, yeah, you when you Bluetooth it, you're looking for smart device without the E, not the F13. It doesn't use that name. Stop takes us back a level. We can have buzzing, which is the vibration. Nope, that's buzzing. You can have vibration, which isn't buzzing. I don't know the difference. You can have an active stopwatch if you want. You can go in here, and I believe you can start it. You have hundreds, seconds, and hours on the stopwatch. When I go up, I leave it. When I come back in, it's reset automatically. So you have to stay in the stopwatch mode if you want to get stopwatch time. Stop takes us back to here. And that was in the stars. And I think we looped through everything in here. Right? And back up to stars. Now we go to the watch faces. You saw those text messaging. If I hit start, you'll see the text messages that I've received. And I have a few and you can actually read them uh, here. Now you go into sport mode. And when you go in here, you have a variety of different preset sports like walking, table tennis, a whole variety of them, all with some really pretty icons all icon driven so if you can just make out the icon in the uh, bright light you're in business you don't necessarily have to read the words but the words are pretty large as well so and then you back out of it again any one of these that you go into like walking if i start it's going to give me immediately start um counting and it's going to be counting my distance and my pace and it's doing this based on pedometer, not on GPS. There's no GPS built in this watch. It is going to be doing your uh, active heart rate while all that's happening. And you'll see again in the Fundu Pro app that you can transfer all that stuff over there. When you go up, you can get different screens, calories, and your heart rate. And then back here. And notice we are not getting a bogus heart rate, which has been a problem I've had for quite a while with these watches that read thin air. So I was happy to see that. And also notice that when I turned it, and it's got that uh, twist wrist to show the screen, when you turn it and you hold it straight up, the screen will stay on. Now that comes in really handy when we get to the next thing. I think it's the next. We're going to stop. Okay, that finished that activity and now it's in the watch and it can be synced over to the app and uh, analyzed over there. Here's the information about it. it was just under a minute and of course I don't have any data but if I did it would be all there. Now we're back up to here. 
I go up one more level and I'm in heart rate. When I start the heart rate, of course, it's going to kick it in. I'll try putting it on my finger and it's going to give you a nice heart rate reading. Notice it's in really good sized white characters against a black background. That's been extremely helpful when I'm outside to be able to see my active uh, heart rate. And what's really cool is when a screen goes off, which it won't right now because I'm holding it horizontal. If I turn it in a moment, it should go off. But as soon as you turn it back straight up, like you're looking right down on it. Well, all right, I'm rushing ahead for us. I'm just going to turn it off there. Ooh, that reset it. Oh, I didn't know that. All right. I guess it ha you have to wait for it to time out on its own. Um, when it's starting and it's in the heart rate mode and it gets your heart rate and if the screen goes off you just simply twist your wrist back up again and it'll acquire your heart rate all over. It takes a while to lock in and I'm happy for that because it means to me that it's actually really kind of checking uh, uh, several of your heart beats before it decides to start showing you data. It does seem to wander a bit. So you have to kind of be with it for a while. And I highly recommend you get still. If you're going to try to take your heart rate, don't do it while you're running or stuff or jogging and, and look at it. I mean, you can to see if you're like way up there too high. But for accuracy, this thing is reading blood moving through capillaries based on light shining and reflecting off of your skin. Movement is going to screw that all up. So if you want a stable reading, you've got to kind of hold still and not, uh, not make any motion. While it's accumulating this real-time uh, heart rate in the heart rate mode, it'll be recording that data, minimum, maximum, and average, and transfer it over to the app. So if you really want to track heart rate for a reason, let's say you've been doing an active... Um, event and you want a 10 minute heart recovery rate or something like that you could go into this mode at the end of that event let it you know get really still let it uh get your heart rate over time and then look at the data on the app you want to do that now i think we're just about done let's leave out of here and let's go up again yeah see we've looped all the way around and we're back to pedometer so that's all of the stuff in the watch when i bring over the app which is the Fundu Pro app. You find it in the Google Play Store, and I open it, and it's going in. You have to log in and set everything up, and once you've done that, it'll go right into your account. I got reflections because it's a black background app, which I really don't like, but that's what we got to live with. You're in the uh, main screen, which shows you your step count, which is what we had here, right? You just keep pushing, and you get to your step count. You can refresh it. Across the top, you see it has these different categories. Off to this side is sports. Now, I did one of those walking sports when we just looked at what we were doing here, and this was the data that accumulated from that particular sport. And you can set all that up. We've done a lot of reviews of this. I'm not going to go into deep detail, but just as it relates to this particular watch. From the steps, you can go over to sleep, which you get a nice sleep thing if you uh, wear it to bed. Uh, you can the next day check your sleep cycle information. Then you get into the heart rate. And here's one I just did a, um, a series on here, the testing at 1300, average, maximum, and minimum. And you go in here now, and you get this whole heart wave experience, the continuous heart rate, Okay, and the separate readings, see 1,343 seconds, 47 seconds, 49 seconds. So while it's in that mode, you're getting uh, a reading, and this is maximum, average, and minimum that it's showing against time on the bottom, against the level on the side. There's 106, 92, 76, and so forth. Here is a different day. Here's a reading I did between 1728 and 1733 in 24 hour time uh, on June 17th. And there's the specific data. So it's got a great way of handling uh, heart rate in my estimation. And you just get into it, hit start. You can go down or up. Down takes you right to it. You hit start and you're in that mode. 
And if you have it on and you're wearing it, it's going to start recording that and it's going to stay in that mode. It's not going to bop out of it and you're going to be getting a recording uh, from start to stop of what's happening with your heart rate. Great, 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 great stuff. Um, and that's it. Heart, sleep, steps, and your sports mode are all in here. There's a place where you can put information about you. There's analysis. Average number, total steps. Here's the Saturday, Sunday. Um, I've had it for a few days and been playing with it, and you can see there that was our main tab we were in. Here's reports, your activity reports, sleep reports, your heart rate reports, all in nice color, and then more where you can connect to the device and do all these things, including find your device and take a photo and sedentary reminder and there's your raise hand to see if you don't want that, just turn it off, and that'll do the heart rate and everything. It's just not going to show it to you. Uh, but when you have that on, it should activate it. <clears throat> it. might take it a while to transmit it. Well, all right. And it comes back up. You also have heart rate test right here where you can set it to do continuous heart rate checking every minimum 10 minutes maximum 60 minutes from a start time to an end time so if you want to kind of monitor your resting heart rate you can set this up at night while you're sleeping and get uh, every 10 minutes or so a, uh, a heart rate reading you turn that on and that's going to be activated yeah check your firmware upgrades you can set your units to metric or imperial fahrenheit or centigrade I always run in the uh, British here in the USA and in about, which tells you your version of the Fundu app, which is used for a whole lot of watches. We have a whole lot of reviews on uh, Fundu in, uh, in detail. But for this watch, the thing to point out is that continuous heart rate uh, that we've got going on when you're in the heart rate mode and the ability to see that on your display simply by twisting your arm Ah, darn, I didn't, it didn't transmit that, so it's not doing it right now. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> okay. It's trying to figure out what's up. And there's no reading because I'm not touching it. But it's big digits. And that's this has been huge. We have not had a good watch that will give you an instant look at your heart rate outdoors or indoors um, until now. So this, this number one uh, F13 solves a lot of problems in a basic, basic watch doesn't have altimeter, doesn't do barometer, doesn't wash the dishes. It will shampoo the dog, but it won't pull the cat fur out of, you know where I'm going with this. You get what you get, and you get what you can use if you're into uh, sport activities, step count, heart rate, and all of that stuff reportable back to you on a, a nice tethered phone app. And again, it's called the F13, you can get it right now, special exclusive from GearBest. I think they're in pre-order, so check it out. If we get any more discounts for you, uh, check the show notes. Um, we'll have that available. It looks like it comes in gray, red, and venom green. This is the red one we're looking at, and that's the highlight colors that you see around the, uh, the rim that they're talking about in the colors. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. This is a look at number one. Um, always... Happy to have these guys back because they're a sponsor of our resource center. And if you haven't seen that yet, wow, there's all sorts of goodies in there. Drop on over. It's a Google Drive, and you get to it by going to tinyurl.com. I'll spell that, T-I-N-Y-U-R-L.com slash Android Watches. That'll pop you in, and, well, wait till you see what all's in there. I think you'll be impressed, and thanks to number one for helping us out to keep that thing going. All right, we'll see you back here soon. I hope you subscribed. If not, you might want to consider it because a lot more good stuff is coming.